Well, hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Ryan's back. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian. I love Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Brian. I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan. I despise Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Ryan, and it's very likely I forgot how to do all of this. And uh, this is the Dexter Oh, he did, he did forget that. it. Forgot everything. No decorum. Oh, my gosh. Brandon and friends host this podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. Lots to get to. Lots to get to. Over a thousand episodes, six years no one has ever railroaded the, <laughs> and this is the Deck the Hallmark now. podcast until Ryan Popola just now. After going full Blair Witch, with I'm his the camera, captain now. He, he <laughs> decides he's just going to say the title of the show like he owns the place. Now here's the thing: I'm always on that half second delay, so I just naturally assumed it was going to be. Well, you there didn't by give us time, time to even get close to being ready for it. We that's how we get uh, you. I was on me. You want to start? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. We got to reset fun. the clock. Yeah, for, yeah the whole thing. The, the intro yeah. clock. Uh, what's the intro clock? Yeah, yeah. the number of times without incident. Oh, oh that's yeah, right. yeah, we yeah, can't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's of course, that's, yeah, yeah. that's sacred. Uh, lots to get to. Of course, uh, the folks know you, Ryan, from this year and all the things you joined us for from the bus. Um, uh, obviously from, from the bomb. We're not going to talk about it. The Fast bomb Fridays. Yes. From the way home. And ride. from ride. So a couple things Mostly to get out of the ride. way. One, the uh, the way home coming back uh, in January, which means uh, Ryan will also be coming back. I believe it's January uh, 21st yeah. is that and premiere. They've already released the trailer. For oh, really? Two, and I have, I have avoided oh, really? it. Yeah, you got well, it. I saw last night they started a commercial <laughs> where it's like this well, January and you see her like like her head like pop up like the daughter's head and then like i don't know if it was new footage or it was old footage we would but hate, they have commercials we'd out hate to go into season two knowing it's a time travel show no so. no 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 no, no. <laughs> no <laughs> keep in the dark the quality well, the we program. don't want to change anything. Anything. No spoiler. i want to i do want to ask you this right i, I understanding sure. that ride getting canceled did put people out of work and we never want that we want people to work and we want them to yeah. make an honest uh honest living and with the understanding and feeling that we, we hope everyone on that show fought, has already found work, so, like 100%. assuming they've all found another job already, what was your first feeling when you heard Rye was canceled? <laughs> <laughs> that 95 second long question doesn't seem like a fair setup for me to say anything productive here. Uh <laughs> I, like, you know, how about this, Dan? I was really bummed that you, Bran, and I didn't have a logical next step after 10 more weeks after The Way Home. How you about would that? rather do that than that? Force like, Fridays and the Star Wars movies or... Force Mar Fr Oh, that's the Mar first Mar time Marvelous that. Weekend or whatever we're going to call it with Marvel or... Marvelous you Monday. Know, Platform Friday and three quarters. I don't know, but something like like so, some sort of like you would rather do ride season two than have another series to watch like we've been talking about. My first real thought was what they did, <laughs> like all the parts, like like, what, like as a production crew, like what did they do with all of those? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, I hope everyone. Uh, wins I did too, but I was before. thrilled. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. What? <laughs> What if we uh, review episodes of The Bump after they air? <laughs> there you go. Thursday, Thursday, uh, Thursday, Thursday afternoon. Yeah. yeah, we could die. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Um, obviously, Let's Pot a Parade is constantly being, uh, you know, brainstormed. We're, and we're, we're workshop. We're anybody real? live streaming a parade. We are live streaming a parade this Saturday, this Saturday 6 p.m. Eastern two Standard days. Time. That's right. And Ryan was invited. We and invited said, him. No, I won't do it. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a gross mischaracterization. I, if, I, if I had not been on vacation this coming weekend, genuinely, Alyssa and I looked at each other. We said we would have been but, there in a heartbeat. Uh, but think timing. about what is uh, what is I, this vacation? Vacation. So, so what what yeah. is this vacation? Nashville. What are you doing? Going to Nashville, Tennessee for uh, a good chunk of a days. A hop, and skip, and a jump, bro. You're five hours away. Like you can't, you can't be, you can't be leading the parade on this idea, and then when the opportunity presents itself, be like, no, no, I can't. Brian, what a fun play on Thank words you. there. Thank you. I thought that was pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, was, that was very good. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk with the boss. <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to happen, but, uh, you know. It's if like, you could but, put odds on it, the, like, would you give it like a, like you a could minus? Parlay it. Is it a minus uh, 500, you think? 
No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe, maybe no, no, turn no, that line five hundred. I'm sorry, a plus five hundred. Yes. No, uh, yeah, I, mean, I I would put a buck on plus five hundred. <laughs> I like that. I'll put a buck uh, on that too. Uh, uh, but I do want just to pull the curtain back for anyone listening who is invested in Let's Pot a par- Parade as an idea. Gets talked about more than anyone will have ever any, any knowledge of behind the scenes. And yeah. on Thanksgiving actually- Day, we uh, did a, a, a Facebook thread uh, of a parade. Right. You uh, On the Double Decker Facebook group, of course, you can join us anytime you want to. Um, you, we, you, you did a great job. I was kind of in and out as I could. Uh, but yeah, giving us the me. thoughts, the rundown on the 2023 May Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. Um, for people that missed it, maybe aren't a part of the group, just a real a brief <laughs> overview of your thoughts on this year's parade. Al Roker looked at Keenan and Kel from 40 yards away and just kept screaming, we yeah, are dudes. dudes. And it maybe was the greatest <laughs> moment of my life. Uh, it was magical. He wouldn't, Brian, he wouldn't we stop screaming, dudes. we are dudes. <laughs> I'm still so tickled oh, about it. It was a fun time. I, I will say uh, the, the odds at that thread in the group having over 400 replies was plus 35,000. Yeah, so, so someone became yeah, very rich right. on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, if they had parlayed yeah. it with you guys coming to Greenville, who knows? Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, I, I, uh, <laughs> from what I saw, uh, my initial thoughts are obviously Al Roker – I'm just happy he's back. You know, there were a couple years there yeah. uh, where he couldn't make it, and I still haven't forgiven. Why did they start it so early this year? Uh, uh, I, I I think money. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, genuinely, genuinely, the first 30 minutes. The parade's yeah. always three hours. Yeah. It's three and a half. The first 30 minutes were just Hoda Kotb. Hoda's on, on turkey, a turkey. And not even like Mario Lopez last year. Mario Lopez was at the Yeah, with his daughter, the turkey. right? Yeah, Hoda Kotb's just on the float, and she's like, New York is beautiful this time of year. That was all we did yes, for the third, yeah. third it was, it was. But those yeah. ads were... Those well, we, got ads were drone, we got a drone. We got a drone tour of New York City, which was nice. At, um, at, one, point, at one point, Josh Gad had a bunch of bits yeah. they wanted him to do, but clearly didn't rehearse. <laughs> so like, he was just reading his bits off his note card in his hand. Oh, my like, God. Oh, he still did great. It was he sick. still did great. It was yeah, I feel like we could yeah, have was... potted this. Yeah. Still can. We're dudes. <laughs> We're, We're dudes. dudes. Brian Brandan, we are dudes. I mean, he's not wrong because I, I'm a dude. Have you seen the new Good Burger? Have I started it? it, but I haven't finished it. You started? Good, you couldn't <laughs> I, commit the full 85 minutes to so Good Burger 2? My wife fell asleep. I said, I'm going to I'm gonna watch this movie. Another great sign. I'm going to watch. No, she didn't. She doesn't have any desire to watch uh, Good Burger too, so she fell asleep early, and I was like, "I'll give it a, I'll give it a go," and then I also fell asleep. So. <laughs> Always a great sign. I'm gonna watch it on the plane to Greenville. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy, yeah. there we are. Let's pot a parade. Uh, let's talk about a Holiday Road. Take me home. Uh, originally aired on November 24th, uh-huh. 2023, and it went a little something like this. The movie kicks off with Maya. Maya? Yeah, we'll go with Maya. Can't be Maya, right? (laughs) Maya, maybe it is. Maya. Uh, Maya. Maya is a TikToker. Uh, Did I say that right? Yeah, sure. sure. TikToker, TikToker, Um, I believe. Yep. Uh, what what would you say? Well, you're you're a Twitcher, uh, right, Uh, Ryan? What would are they TikTokers? I believe you're a TikToker, and you're a. I don't even know what the alternative would You're be. Right. Are you a Twitcher? Is that what you do? I believe I'm a Twitch oh, streamer. Twitch streamer. Got it. Cool. That's a mouthful. Yeah, this is why Twitch <laughs> isn't going anywhere. That's exactly right. <laughs> they got TikTok. You're over there with Twitch streamer. Uh, anyway, she is TikToking herself from the airport. She's frustrated uh, about her flight being delayed to Denver, possibly, probably canceled because everything else is getting canceled. Uh, She's uh, trying to get to Denver. So is a woman named Ember, a grumpy Santa looking fella named Dusty. Uh, Mother and son duo, Trisha and Ben, a couple named uh, Ling and Baba and uh, Dana, Dana, who is, uh, what's that? Baba? Dano? Dana. Dana. Someone just correct me. Whatever. What do we, what do we, why would we even try? Baba and Dano? <laughs> Dana. I don't think any of these Did you get Dana. Right? I don't think any name is right. Did you get any of those names right? 
<laughs> Definitely Dusty. <laughs> yeah, Dusty is matters. right. Uh, they decide that they are going to try to all get a rental van together and go to Denver after the flight gets canceled. They go to the rental car station. They have to wait for Clay. Clay is another fella trying to get his way to Denver. And this is bad news because um, Dana just gave Clay the business while waiting in line for coffee. <laughs> Turns out... Uh, I don't think that's what happened. <laughs> you know, those beautiful golden arches. <laughs> I don't. Golden I don't. I don't think that's what happened at all. There was the business. The mutual. There were mutual businesses given, uh, like LLCs registered. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out, Clay gets a fifteen passenger van for himself, and that's the last uh, ride on the lot. When Dana sees him driving off, she hops in front of the van. Gives and asks business. if uh, give them the business <laughs> again, and uh, asks if they can all ride together. He agrees, and they do a little decorating of the interior because Christmas, and they hit the open road. You mean the exterior uh, and the interior. Yeah, the interior. But they do the outside right first. They do the stickers. On right, the front. but the in, but okay. the interior is the really beautiful part. Right, give cool. that van the business. Anyone can sticker. <laughs> Uh, Clay tells everybody that they should download his dating app. Um, and so they do. And they start answering a bunch of questions. They all get to uh, answer, opening up to one another. Uh, Maya is vid- videoing all of their answers uh, without their consent. Uh, really videoing anything that anybody she says. She them all their consent when they get She in. doesn't ask if she can uh, record a panic attack, but whatever. Yeah. You know. But whatever, yeah. whatever. It is, it's whatever. Um, they all start answering, and the videos are going great. Everybody's talking about them on TikTok. Uh, they have a karaoke party, and Ember does an amazing rendition of Amazing Grace. Everyone cries, including Dusty. Dusty is losing his mind at this rendition of Amazing Grace. Uh, they don't have service, so they have to use a paper map. Can you believe this? And uh, they end up getting lost and turn around paper maps. What can you do? Uh, The van breaks down in a Christmas-loving town, giving Clay and Dana time to hang out, bond, talk about love and stuff. Uh, The van won't be fixed until after Christmas, uh, so uh, Maya puts the call out to her followers for help. While they wait, they decide that they're going to compete in the Elf Games. It's uh, going great until Dana is uh, just clearly struggling. She's on the ground. Uh, she opens up to Clay about how she was born with a bum heart. Uh, her words, not mine. I would never. Uh, she lives every day like it's her last because uh, it might be, again, her words. It sounds like I'm making a joke of it. I'm not. Uh, Maya gets canceled for freaking out on people and ripping a box out of their hands. She learns not to care what everybody thinks because why Why do that when you, when you don't have to? Uh, they finally make it to Denver. Clay drops them off one by one up first is uh, Ling and Baba. And uh, apparently Ling has uh, planned a surprise reunion between uh, the father and son. They weren't happy at first, but they get over it pretty quickly. And they hug, and everybody's, oh, the whole van is watching. They're loving it. Uh, Why not? Uh, Dana and Ben are next. And this is a big one because... um, Ben is adopted and is going to be meeting his birth mother. Dana's been nervous about this. Uh, not Dana, the other woman, whatever. Um, and it's, it's oh exciting. There's too many characters. <laughs> I'm not whatever. used to this. The There's too many characters. Wh- whatever, I believe, is what Brandon There's said. too <laughs> many characters. I can't do this. <laughs> I'm used to doing one thing. You can't do another giving him the business. Anyway, uh, that goes well, too. Uh, um, Ember just deuces out early um, and steals all of Dusty's (laughs) cash (laughs) that he has in his bag. bag. Um, (laughs) Of his business. (laughs) And Uh, the credits roll (laughs) in that, my friends, was Holiday Road. Maya is next, and she is going to try to record a video, but she's like, I can't do this in front of you. I'll get too emotional. Um, Dusty is dropped off, and he goes to the cemetery to talk to meet with his uh, daughter, uh, who has passed away. 
And it's at this point that Ember shows up and uh, with her daughter is like, hey, sorry, I don't know what came over me. Here's all your money back. Dusty says, <laughs> you'd be doing me a bigger, a bigger favor <laughs> if you take the money. Uh, and she's like, okay. Clay then drops Dana off to go skiing <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Clay immediately regrets it, and he helicopters his way up to her and uh, is like, hey, I'm ready to take a leap with you. And she's like, what? And then she's like, just kidding. I'm totally into that. Jumps into his arms, uh, almost straddle sesh, but uh, this is a standing straddle standing sesh. straddle sesh. It's a little bit yes. different. It's a little bit different. Um, a video is going viral uh, from Maya talking about this amazing family. So they decide to all leave their families and go meet with Maya and have dinner together. Just another Van Clan activity. And that, my friends, was Holiday, Holiday Road. Road. We did too it. Too many people. It's too many people. A lot of people. It's too many yeah, people. The other one. Who cares? <laughs> the other Whatever. One. <laughs> Whatever. You were wonderful. If you're listening to this, you were wonderful. I'll learn your name. I'll learn your name. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back here. Take the hallmark. It's too many people. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're talking about Holiday Road, um, a movie that has too many people. Uh, let's break this movie down. We're going to start with uh, the hot take. The Holiday Road hot take presented by. Um, what do you think? Brian, this is, his name is Brian. Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only yeah. three, like three of us. There's too many. There's no Ryan in the mix. There's too it's many people. Ryan, it's not Ryan. The other one. Whatever. The other one. <laughs> this one. The There's one. too many to people. You. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Brian, whatever. Uh, sure. What do you think about yeah, this? Yeah, we'll movie? go with Brian. Uh, you know, I appreciate the effort here. This was a lot of people, there was a lot going on, a lot of stories. Uh, a lot of emotional stories. Um, and for me, it was pretty good overall. Like I wasn't really into it until probably halfway through, maybe three quarters of the way through when we finally got to know these people a little bit more and they were doing more things together. I wouldn't necessarily want to watch it again. Uh, I'm not upset that I saw it. I wanted it to, I wanted it to end when dusty showed up at the cemetery and we found out Annie had passed away. And then we went to commercial. And I was like, that's a perfect ending. Like, Everybody went their separate ways. We don't need all the backstory. Very emotional ending. And then they came back for like another what seemed like 25 minutes. At least. It just kept going. Yeah. Kept going. The end, they sort of like ruined what they had for me, from my perspective. And so it was. So let me, uh, let me get this straight. You yeah. didn't really start liking it until halfway through and then you hated the last 25 yeah. minutes. I didn't hate so it. I just didn't need it. You, you liked 17 minutes I liked, of this movie. Uh, a good bit. What I, what I liked, I thought they did really yeah. good. Yeah. I didn't yeah. need all. I mean, coming together for dinner is just complete nonsense. We don't need this. <laughs> you know, we eating, don't eating this. with your community, your found community, is yeah. just stupid. We all came to Colorado. Let's I don't even know your name. Whatever. To, yeah, yeah, with you over there. Whatever. So, well, you know, it was it was. Pretty Someone good, tell me her name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody can. No one I here. It's Maya. They had a Maya and no. a Maya. <laughs> oh, you little stinker. Yeah, you little you stinker there. butt. <laughs> uh, Brian, what would you think? Well, Ryan, what did you oh, think of? What did you think about Ryan this? Ryan is here. He did just t steal the title. So go ahead. Uh, we can start over if you guys want. Uh, uh, Brian liked this. Uh, this The chunk of that Brian liked was less than an episode of That's Just right. Shoot Me. Seven, <laughs> like, was it? Could have chosen any <laughs> sitcom from the 90s. You went with Just Shoot Me. I love it. Not upset about it. Uh, so uh, I, I off rip uh, to a little inside baseball. I watched this right after the Browns, my Cleveland Browns lost to the Denver Broncos. So the fact that they said Denver about 45 times in the first five minutes of this movie wasn't for me. Uh, it seemed like for me that uh, the, they, the creative team had like a wheel with a bunch of serious yeah. issues on it. And they just kept spinning that wheel until the duration of the film was over. I give them credit for the attempt. I, I, I genuinely not trying to be funny. I, I thought the idea of throwing 47 people <laughs> in a van as a premise for a film was really cool. 
Um, and some of those character uh, character character moments really worked. Um, but I just thought after a while we were getting really hit over the head. To Brian's point, I didn't care necessarily about a lot of people. To Brand's notes, I didn't necessarily know everybody's names. Uh, the leads, the, what you would call the leads, had zero chemistry. Uh, and so Dusty was the man. Uh, ultimately, uh, Brand, this doesn't hold a candle to the JTT classic, I'll Be Home for Christmas. Oh, it was just okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> getting a note from Sheila Calloway in the chat. Trisha is the Trisha name. Trisha is her name. Of, the, uh, Trisha. The Holiday Road, yeah. whatever mom. I, uh, Trisha's I, a nice name. Yeah, it's a great name. I would have liked this movie a whole lot more if I didn't have to cover it because now I'm stressed. I, there's too many names. There's too many people, um, and I don't know what to do with all of them. I will say name this. Them, I think. I yeah. will say this. Uh, Dusty is a star. Uh, I would take a whole Dusty movie. I have more questions about Dusty than I know what to do oh with. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what a mystery <laughs> that man is. Um, but overall, I, I did enjoy this movie. I it, It's tough. It, obviously, when you're telling, uh, trying to give everybody uh, time to have their stories told, um, some things are going to suffer such as the relationship. Like I, when I don't, we're not, none of us buy that. That is a thing that, uh, clay would have done, uh, just based off of what we know about him. And, uh, some of the, uh, people stuck out a little bit more than others. <laughs> yeah, Dusty, I'm looking at you, bud. Um, but overall I had a good time and, uh, I'm not against, one of these uh, type of movies every year where there's a, a big supporting cast. Um, we got that with uh, uh, Golden, Dragon, the Golden Dragon uh, last yep. year. Uh, that one, I think, did it uh, oh, a good yeah. bit better than this one. But overall, I had a good time, uh, and I just wish that I didn't have to do the synopsis. <laughs> I did a real, a real bad job. I mean, IMDb's got all their names, so. Who's who's editing that? Yeah, that's true. Just don't know. We don't know. Dana? Yeah. Um, the degree of difficulty here is through the roof. And so you appreciate the attempt of this, uh, the actual, you know, presentation that we get falls flat most of the time. You, you have a few moments that do work. Most of them involve Dusty, whether or not that's because it's emotional or because it doesn't make sense. We'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, but then what you have is a un very unfortunate situation where you have a, a return of the king scenario where you have 30 minutes of endings of people that immediately should have like traversed into Denver, gotten out of the van and Ubered to their homes for the sheer efficiency of it. And instead you kind of get this thing where it's like, we got to go and we got to see where all these threads go. So props to the movie makers and the writers and Hallmark for green lighting this, but you don't have enough time to tell this story. And it felt like it was ending for the last third of it. Uh, some of the character motivations don't make sense, and it's because we don't get to spend enough time with them. So it, this is going to go higher on my list than a lot of the movies this year, purely because what they try to do is so difficult. But I think right now I have it like 10 or 11. Okay. So not great. Uh, it's time for all the feels where we talk about what in this movie gave us those feels. Brian. Yeah, when they were playing trivia in the van, uh, that kind of gave, that, that reminded me of the, uh, the marathon where we spent what feels like Half of Ages. the marathon so playing long. lateral yeah. thinking games, Ugh. and it was it turned out to be the star of the show. I think I would it disagree was, wholeheartedly. It was the best time. Uh, I will say this: if you're on the inside of a window, right, and there's snow, right. and you're desperate to open it, but yeah. if you do, you could die. I think you need to ask if you're claustrophobic first yeah, and first, foremost. First and I, I did learn that. Yeah, we learned. But that the one. rest of that, we learned oh that lesson gosh. hard. It was a hard lesson. It was a hard lesson to learn. Uh, so that gave me the, the feels. Because it was just a good memory. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, what you got? Any feels? Uh, Amber, uh, her cover of Amazing Grace needs to be on there with the uh, Time After Time yep. and Hit Me Baby One More Time covers from The Way Home on the Hallmark Covers album. So uh, that was really cool. And uh, Dusty, I was right there with you, man. I was a, I was a wreck. I was a wreck. I... Um... Just, I love karaoke in general. It's one of my favorite things. And so um, I thought the, the the two people that did the whole song with the music and the lights, I love that. Like, that made me happy. Give me karaoke any day of the week and twice on Sunday. And also Dusty's a national hero. But uh, also, I, um, I'd i like to, uh, to do the Elf games. I think... Yeah, um, pretty good. You know, I, I don't... I'm not very active. I try to... 
um, not run. I try not to walk. Um, try to roll as often as possible. Um, but I think if elf games were on the line, I might, I might, it might get me into shape. Maybe that's what I need. Motivational Maybe factor, I yes. need the elf games. Mm. You know, some people need five K. Some people need turkey trot. Some people need whatever. I think I need elf game. Couch to elf to game. Ca- couch, couch to, to elf, elf game. Games. That's exactly that's right. right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Dana. Um, very rarely does Hallmark give you an emotional moment without explaining why it's emotional. When Ember sings Amazing Grace, it's an amazing rendition, but you don't know why that means a lot to her. You don't find out till way later in the movie that her kid is named Grace. She does not have custody of her kid. She is trying to make right, you know, right some wrongs from her past and, and, So what we get when she's singing that song is a very emotional performance where people are moved and we don't know why it's that emotional. That is called cinema. That that's what really good (laughs) filmmakers do. They give you something that moves you. And then you sometimes learn fully the character's motivations. And sometimes you don't because you're not inside their head. And I don't know if I've really ever seen Hallmark do that to this level. So that was really impressive. Like I got chills listening to that. And I was like, this clearly means a lot to her. Is it because she doesn't sing anymore? Is it because of her family? Is it because of something religious? I don't know, but it's clearly so incredibly, you know, painful and, you know, heart wrenching to her. And so it translates to all these people in the van. That was awesome. That was really awesome. See, so good for you, Hallmark. Good for you. Let's yeah. take a quick break. We'll come back with the way, what, and the, what, and the Hallmark here on. You take it to no, no, no. 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 Sorry, I'm sorry. Dex, Ryan, you're ready, Ryan. Let us know. Uh, yeah, it was, it's going to be out here on deck. <laughs> I felt like that was like uh, having someone come up to customer service. Uh, it's going to be here. We're going to need someone to come over here. Yeah, yeah we're going to need somebody to deck the Hallmark uh, over. Uh, Guys, we really, we really can start. Over. I feel bad about it. We can. Let's start just see. Over. Let's just keep like, going and see how it plays happens. out. Let's we'll see how it plays out. All right. Uh, her name's Trish. Who's next? Sure yes, is. Trisha and Maya. Trisha Trish and Maya. TikToker. TikToker. <laughs> Twitch. Uh, Twitch <laughs> let's get to the wait. What? So we're talking about one. This we just go. Wait. Go what? Yeah. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Sometimes a uh, digital map is better than a paper map. Sometimes are, it is. There yeah. are some cases where just mostly they, all of them. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they just went so <laughs> long. They were committed to the paper map for so long. Like they had to have passed some Wi-Fi. The one, some the one thing I learned from this movie is, is that the Southwest has no cell service. <laughs> yeah. Everyone that lives in the entire Southwest is without cell service. If you don't download the map before your trip. You're, that's right. You're out, and the good news is, is that you can do that. You sure can. <laughs> You can download the map. Yeah, it's and, that was wild. and then you'll just have it. Yeah, for your it whole was ride. So brutal. Internet cool. a- internet access is the rules are use it or lose it, and if you lose it, you can't use it. Losers walk ever again. Losers That's right. Do walk. It's yeah. a long Literally. saying. So everyone in Idaho, all the way down through Colorado, once they lose it, they can't get it. They back. don't have it anymore. It's gone. Yeah. See ya. Man, and I don't like stuff. bringing the bearer of bad. You don't like bringing the bearer of bad. Yeah. You want to try that again, sports? <laughs> Why? Why at this point? Why at this point? Try. I don't mind bringing the bear of bad. The other mom, whatever. <laughs> Maya. Uh, the uh, the elf <laughs> games were. They seem mostly to be based on like a fast time, except for they had a bull riding section where it like was very where the, weird. Normally the, the longest what time the would rules? win. So like that just didn't seem to fit in a race. Uh, and then. The, the sudsy snow can always be an uh, issue, and it's just it's an issue when you're watching on such a nice TV, and also you get these big close-ups on the faces, and you just see the And when you're watching on Philo. Yeah, I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, if you're watching on Philo. Nuts. Of course. So nuts the suds out there. Is, yeah, it's nuts out there on the yeah. Philo TV. So just the suds is just so visible. Um, and so it's, they also had, it, uh, for the impromptu Christmas dinner, a fully roasted turkey. <laughs> I don't. They I don't showed know up how. with it plated and uncovered outside of the snow. Just, hey, I just had this laying around. Yeah. Uh, carve what it do up, you think? please. For the table. Yeah, for we the table. It. We got it. Uh, Ryan, what you got? 
You know, I'm no expert on uh, Christmas time in Idaho, but I suspect it shouldn't look like Jackson Hole, Wyoming, in the middle of July. <laughs> like it, it was, like it, it looked like summer. For like I, 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 they must like whatever. Uh, mileage, uh, Brand. I knew you would love the karaoke scene. Mileage may vary on whether or not that was a good scene or not, but unquestionably uh, a safety. Oh hazard. my be gosh! Doing that the lights good. everywhere, yeah, the disco I, ball. I can't condone that. No, of course not. Uh, I, I mean, that many people in a van in and of itself may be breaking some fire codes. Um, the the big speech uh, that uh, what's what's the Whatever. one of the, yeah, one, of the one of the one of the characters says this in the movie. But it's right before the Elf Games start. She's like, you know what makes us different than all these other teams? We just spent two days together in a van. <laughs> like I I don't know if that's really rallying the troops the way that she thought. Um, the scene at Annie's grave was, I agree, the highlight of the film. It was beautifully uh, performed. However, uh, Dusty's our guy. <laughs> however, uh, well, I don't know, Dan. We might have different. Oh no, there's only one uh, big one. I feel uh, like. <laughs> oh well, no, I have. I have. I, this okay. is a two-parter for me. My first part is that Amber literally has her her kid yes. go yeah. play on a bunch of. Yeah, you, you got it. <laughs> hey, can I go play in the snow? Yeah, don't mind the dead bodies. Just however you want to get moving, that's man. That's how you get haunted, man. Just play, just play That's tag. how you get haunted. Just like, watch a movie. snowballs just you can't do at that. You. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can it I go sick. play? Yeah, was, <laughs> I don't know, man. It was literally sick. Yeah. Uh, and then, but my other part, like, Alyssa and I are watching this thing, and I might have missed something. Again, I was upset about football. I had just lost a bunch of money. Uh, I was. Did Amber literally... Get her daughter back by just showing her ex husband or a judge or whoever that she had this big wad of cash the way in a bag. I, the way I happened? understand that, because I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt, this money, we could spend a tight 30 on this money, and I get the feeling we will spend more time on it. But when it comes to Ember, I believe the deal was she did get to see her child's. She still had visitation rights. And so she got her kid on Christmas Day. I don't think the money had anything to do with it. I think she took the money. I think she was going to use it to show or lose that it. she use it or lose like, it. Had, lose it. had made all this money. But the, her having her kid on Christmas Day was part of the deal. I, that was the way yeah, I understood When she it. wasn't there yet, I think that's when her uh, ex say, was like, you're a bad mom. To, yes, correct. To finally get to see your kid after a long time and to show that you are a capable, responsible parent, letting your kid... <laughs> Play in the snow in a graveyard, maybe not frolic be on graves at the top of the yeah. list. Is she's all got I'm some saying. work to do. Show, yeah. yeah, shows that she's the fun yeah. parent. I mean, you know, yeah. like if she, she's looking to win the sure. race. You know? yeah. yeah. Can I go jump on the dead people like she does? Come on, mom. <laughs> uh, anything else, Ryan? That's it for me. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Um, <laughs> this is the ball. Now on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What up? Wrestlers and uh, fans, this is the bump. Oh my, you must watch. That's what I said. You can, yeah. you can check us out on Peacock too, y'all. Welcome to the bump. Welcome the bump. to the bump, wrestlers. Welcome and to the bump. <laughs> wrestlers the bump, and fans. Bump, bump. Yeah, just on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Wrestlers and fans. <laughs> wrestlers and fans. That's who watches it. I, I assume the reason I don't watch the bump is because I assume it's just for wrestlers. No, it's to not. Keep fans up, too. To keep up on the fans news. Fans get to watch it too. And all the drama. Absolutely. The fans too. Well, well, according to some, we once were uh, tag team champions. That's true. Right. We were. That's right. That's right. That is Former true. wrestlers. That's right. Uh, yeah. Lisa played in cemeteries all the time growing up. Okay. I, just, I don't know what to do with that, Lisa. Good we'll news. talk talk about that off air. Um, What's up, wrestlers? We, we talk about the end of this movie lasting in eternity, and it's because these people who are apparently no longer in a hurry are getting out of the van at every stop. You, it's just you just can't do that. Like if I if it is it is Christmas Day, I'm already late. I'm not. Getting up. I'll say, yo, see you later. Deuce, right. deuces. No. Love you. Great. And this was so much fun. My butt's not getting up until I get to my house. But also, just everybody get your luggage and get in an Uber. Yeah. Like, you're in town. You you made it. First stop, everybody get out. Get your luggage. Get in an Uber. You're all home in 10 minutes. Yeah. I don't get it. Would have been easy. Uh, Dusty caught on to uh, hashtags pretty quickly. Hashtag old dog, new, new tricks. 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 <laughs> I love, yeah. I love, he hasn't see. understood anything all day, but he's like, I got hashtags down. Hashtag old dog, new tricks. I uh, love that for Dusty and all of his money. Uh, 
Oh uh, man, he. Uh, this I'll save it for the what the hallmark. Just money. Uh, last but not least, um, the kid goes down. Uh, is is has met his has met his mom and uh, Trisha's obviously there. Trisha, um, yeah. and we love Trisha a lot. When he finds out that Maya is live on TikTok, he says, "I gotta tell." I got to tell everybody. So he goes into the living room and he proceeds to, in the most uncomfortable um, way that you can, lean over a couch and hold out your arm like this. You don't know how much longer she's going to be going for. Yeah. But you're stuck there now, pal. That's why when you're going to show somebody a live video, get comfy and cozy because you don't know how long you're going to be there. You can't lean over abdomen into the the top part of the couch you can't do that for very long it's not safe dan um the portland oregon airport is as big as our office uh it is so tiny there are maybe 12 flights that are taking off or being delayed at the same time um i i thought they were in maybe like a some little metropolitan airport and they were in apparently a giant city's airport and i couldn't believe that uh the kid in this movie gets the paper map out and he says this line i never knew there were so many roads I, listen <laughs> i know i know if you're older out there i know you think that kids are dumb because they use their screen for everything the thing about maps on a screen is they show all the roads that you would see on a paper map. You can, it, it, it's probably more so, more roads. More roads, I would say, yeah. Yeah, They're there's, there's no yeah. world where a kid is going to see a paper map and be like, this is higher definition. This shows me all the roads. Um, no. It's like a map IRL. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, there is no world where a guy that looks like Santa Claus carrying six figures in cash in a duffel bag and that is not explained can't be mentioned in the wait what segment he he literally has a white beard he has a duffel bag with six figures of cash in it and we don't know why we don't know it was never explained we don't we don't have a clue why he's doing that and then he says the line that to, to, to amber, uh, amber he says if you take this money, you'll be doing me a bigger favor by taking it than I'm doing for you by giving it. You're a criminal. That's the only way that makes sense yep. is if you're laundering that money. That That is, we, we don't get any of that. We get none of that information. And I, I just, I was floored. I was floored by the fact that we got none of that information. Um, it does seem like no one actually wants to get to their family when we get to Denver. We already mentioned that. And then lastly, the the uh who's the dana is her name yeah. dana and clay's relationship which was barely there and probably didn't deserve what it got in this movie she also drives me drives me nuts because she's supposedly the glass half full person and he's the glass half empty person but yet she never ever apologizes to him for anything like uh, like he apologizes nonstop in this movie and she's never like yeah because i did do this that's why this happened or whatever there's times when she's wrong and she's like i'm not going to apologize i i just look at the bright side and, and it's like no part of being an optimist is being willing to admit when you're wrong like that's kind of part of the deal and that character drove me nuts all movie so that's all i got it's time for what the hallmark is where we wonder what could have been maybe having some clarity questions we still have uh brian what are you still wondering about I'm wondering about Clay's dating app and how successful this thing might be because it seems like it, I mean, it seemed like he chartered a chopper to meet her up at the top of the mountain. I believe so. Yes. <laughs> I so believe so. Just, if he's got, <laughs> if he's doing real well, like why not call a helicopter sooner? Like some other mode of transportation. Like why are we, yeah. what are we doing? And like, can we talk about the missed opportunity? Can we talk yeah. about the missed opportunity uh, to bring in, Arnold's or an Arnold impersonator to yeah. deliver some sort of line about because getting back to the been, chopper. Yeah, there's a chopper. If there. only there was somebody oh, that we knew oh, yeah. that would have been perfect for that role. Rig, Rig, uh, how are you, buddy? Did somebody say chopper? 
I did say chopper. Hi, Ray. Oh, Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. I've been absent a lot. You have been the, absent a lot. It seems to happen during the holiday season. So I was like, more people listen, and you don't want me around. But, I know, would I never say that. Just take offense, I just want to say this. No this one. This is the Deck to Hallmark podcast. <laughs> I mean, I, if Ryan can say it, I can say it. You can say that right now. <laughs> no Welcome one. The bump. It isn't about <laughs> cocaine. It's about <laughs> wrestling. I promise. <laughs> Wrestlers and fans. And fans um, yeah, they both watch. Rig, no one does Arnold oh, quite you know. like you. Yeah, my honor is on point. So it feels wrong really? to have not brought you in. But yes, uh, uh, act as if you're Arnold telling uh, War, uh, Warren Christie. You're telling the, da- tell, the Dana. You're telling Dana. I got you. I got you it. Get, uh, everybody you got close it. your eyes so you can be sure, there. Just be there in the moment yeah, if yeah. you could, right? Mm-hmm. It gets off the jump. You ready? You hear the background. I hear it. Dana! Get to the chopper! Wow. He nailed it, man. (laughs) Oh, my gosh, did I? Boy, it is. It's unbelievable. I'm out of here. It's like I hit like you on the bumper. No, I got. no one, no okay. one asked him. No one asked him to do that. Nobody. Jesus no. Uh uh-uh. uh. What are we doing here? Um, Ryan? I just want Ryan. Rig is actually both a wrestler <laughs> and a fan. So that's really cool. Yeah. Both <laughs> um, I think I figured the money uh, would come up from uh, one of you know one of you three, so I, I skipped it. I want more about the Elf Games. I think there's an Elf Games film to be had. I think there's an Elf Games origin story. I think there's an Elf Games training montage to be had with Bran after the, today's episode. So uh, I, I'd love more there, and uh, a big wad of cash could maybe do it, help do it make for it the happen. vlog. And I mine was also the Elf Games. Okay, it, this town is known for it, and I felt like the rules were kind of there at best the rodeo part i need more information on how it came yeah. to happen how you can show up and sign up as a yeah. as a traveling band of marauders right. from out of town out of nowhere <laughs> it seems like you need to sign up weeks in advance Doesn't and, matter. So i have a lot of questions yeah. about the elf games yeah we talked about the money we talked about how it, you, she would be doing him a bigger favor <laughs> that seems to imply dirty money now i don't know enough about Laundering money. I'm learning, but I don't know enough. <laughs> yeah, about we're it. getting there one day at a time. But like, if I give what somebody do you think this whole thing's been for six years, <laughs> right. I don't. If I give somebody a stack of dirty money, doesn't that like not do great things for them? Like, isn't that like if they start seeing that the same person is using dirty money? Aren't they going to find her? Aren't they going to track her down? And then what's she going to say? Santa gave it to me in a cemetery well, on Christmas Day? I think if she put it all in her bank account, the bank would probably flag it. And then she'd be like, some old man in a cemetery handed me this money. Uh, you know what I There's mean? There's like, no good way to handle that. That's the, that's the end of the trail. Like, you, they don't you, have anything you guys, You know Santa? Um... I was I in a cemetery. Play in she the cemetery. was playing. That's she right, was yes. playing on old man Curtis's that would be uh, yeah, grave Christmas sites with her daughter. Tell you that. Um, yeah, how about that? Uh, well, there was. Uh, I don't know. For my money, could action? be close. I think there could have been a fight. A bit of a tussle, yeah. maybe. Only one person could know. It's Vic Webster. It's time for a fighting chance with Vic Webster. Fighting chance with Vic Webster. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. What's the fighting in the movie? Someone get hurt is a fighting chance with Vic Webster. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. Vic Webster. Well, well, well. Surprise, surprise. This movie actually had some action in it. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. Vic Webster. Wow. Whoa. How boy. about that? There you go. That we've been was waiting a long time. We've been waiting a long time for this one. Yeah, we have. We've been waiting a long time for this we one. That's have, exciting. For sure. Uh, Ryan, thanks so much for joining us, buddy. Let everybody know about how they can bump their way over to uh, to what you're doing. Friends and, fans and wrestlers. Uh, yeah, so you're you know, just if, a fan uh, point, and not a wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you only check one of those two boxes... Uh, the, you can check out the bump Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern on Peacock and all of WWE streaming social platforms. And uh, you can catch me potting about uh, the Hollywood Christmas parade on the CW uh, sometime, uh, you know, in the next two weeks. Ooh, wow. Thank you. Matisse. Thank you. Uh, well, join us, everybody, this Saturday for the Greenville Christmas parade. It's going right. to be a lot of fun uh, with or without Ryan. Uh, I think we're still going to. I'm now. just saying, I think we're still going to have a good. That's how yeah, good. We're going to have a good time regardless. That's how good. The parade is, is all I'm saying. Like, yes, of course we weren't Ryan there, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have gonna a fun be, time regardless. Fun. Yeah. 
You guys will crush it. We're going to be back tomorrow. I think another, is it another double tomorrow on Friday? No, or is it just, just a single? Double drop? Just a single. Look, it's, it's, it's another like double? It's too many episodes. It's too many episodes, too many names, too many people, too many podcasts. Uh, but you can watch them all right here on Philo. Philo TV slash DTH. We'll be back tomorrow with another one. Until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. 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 Deck the Hallmarks of Bravel Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to brambljamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep, here they are. Happy day.